Hello, hello everyone. Um, hope everybody had a good weekend and a good first day back to work, back to the grind. Um, excuse my messy gym slash office. Um, it's looking rather bare actually right now. I don't know if you noticed the bare wall compared to the last time we uh, sold our squat rack. So now we've got to find something to put there or move things around. Anyway, at least it's not my car. So today I'm talking about uh, living intentionally. Most of us think that by making choices, we're living intentionally. Um, we get caught up in the flow of our everyday activities and we make decisions, you know, during our normal daily lives. But that's not living intentionally. Um, living intentionally is, well, let's put it this way. Making choices is not living intentionally. It is the, what you need to do is um, act on living, on act on those choices. Acting on those choices is living intentionally. So for example, uh, let's say you are in debt, right? You want to get out of debt. So obviously the smart choice is to pay your bills, right? But that's our everyday activities. This is uh, the flow of our culture, uh, our surroundings. Um, but if you choose to not go out to dinner, that would be a step toward living intentionally. So even though we're in debt, we pay our bills, um, we still tend to go out to eat, we tend to spend our money on things that we probably shouldn't be spending our money on. Um, and when you don't do those things, that's trying to live intentionally. Um, also, um, eating healthy, saying you, saying you wanna go on a diet and then just trying to live your normal life um, through that thought process, like um, going to work every day without preparing your meals, going out to dinner with the intention of eating well, but you don't. So, in, so living intentionally would be meal prepping, um, actually bringing your food to the restaurant, believe it or not, even though that would be weird, but that would be living intentionally. So, um, so my blog is going to go into that in more detail and also with some suggestions on actually how to live intentionally. So hopefully I'm getting the point across a little bit, um, and hopefully you'll, you'll read my blog. Have a good night, Marlene and Taylor. Congratulations again. Okay. Have a good night, guys.